by signposts, what I really mean is looking at the air, what, what would be the factors that could make a difference to ensuring that students with dyslexia are, you know, fit in to an inclusive school and their needs are met. So I think one of the first things is that it's, got, it's important to ensure that the school acknowledges differences and diversity. Because we all know that students with dyslexia have a different way of processing information. Uh, different how they take information in, how they retain it, how they remember it, how they organize it, and how they recall it. And how they present to you that they could dem how they demonstrate competence. So the whole information processing cycle, they do it in a different way. So I think the school's got to be kind of flexible in terms of allowing students who maybe think outside the box from being able to show and demonstrate their competence and be able to do that in a way which is consistent with their learning preferences. So I think that's the first thing, that the school has got to really acknowledge that diversity. I think the second point, which I think is very important, that uh, there must be sufficient planning. That, you know, when you've got a student with dyslexia, you don't just say, oh, I've got a student with dyslexia, I'll go to the shelf and take this package out. It doesn't work like that. There's no off-the-shelf answer, there's no off-the-shelf package for someone with dyslexia. What you've really got to do is the starting point is the learner and looking at the learner's profile. So for that, you've got to plan for learning and you've got to develop materials for that learning, for that learner, and make up some sort of plan. Which leads me to the third point, which is developing individual educational plans and programs for students with dyslexia. So we need to acknowledge that there's no off-the-shelf answer, that they're individual, and we need to look at them as an individual. Even within an inclusive paradigm, an inclusive school, we need to acknowledge the individual needs of the student, which makes it pretty challenging for teachers, to be honest, but it's essential that the student is seen as an individual because Mel spent the whole day running a course today, and the, the key message was to look at the individual learning differences and the individual learning preferences. So I think that's really important to acknowledge diversity, to plan for learning, to have individu individual educational plans. And also, I think the fourth point, which I would like to mention in relation to that, is to have an understanding of what we mean by inclusion. That, if, for example, I'm, I'm, a, I'm involved in a school in the UK, which is a school for students with dyslexia. And it's seen as a separate provision. And the students go there and they register for that school. But I see that school, although it's separate and discreet and it's a specialised provision, I see that school as being part of an inclusive process. Because those students come to us for a short term of time, term of time and we try to get them back into the mainstream. So I see us as being an important cog in that inclusive process. So inclusion isn't a product. Inclusion is a process which takes place over time and it involves, it could involve specialist units, it could involve uh, specialist schools, it could involve, um, you know, on-site on provision or in the classroom additional provision. So it's all these extra resources which some students need, but they could still be part of, we see ourselves in England, uh, the Red Rose School, it's a separate school, but they still see themselves as being an inclusive school because they also acknowledge and honour what the key principles of inclusion? It's acknowledging the needs of everyone, being part of the community, um, embracing the, the culture of the community and the different languages in the community, meeting the needs of all. And I think we do all that. So I think we've got to really have a, a, an understanding of what we really mean by